A new report just came out analyzing the state's paratransit system. That's the system that helps seniors or those with disabilities get around the state. 12 News consumer investigator Sarah Grinelli looked at that report and joins us now live in studio with the latest. Sarah? Mike Kim, the 32 page report looked at what it would take to expand the paratransit program in Rhode Island. Right now, parts of the state are unreachable for those who need the ride program. Thousands of seniors and people with disabilities rely on the paratransit system, known as RIDE, run by the Rhode Island Public Transit Authority. The way the system is currently in its, in its current form is not equitable. It's not fair. Chris Bove, who is legally blind, has been advocating for improvements to RIDE. Currently, services run within three quarters of a mile from any fixed bus route. A new report aimed at looking at transportation needs shows the current system leaves eight communities unreachable for riders, including Westerly and Tiverton. Your zip code should not determine your trajectory in life. It should not impact, you know, the opportunities that you have in early adulthood. And that's, at the end of the day, why this program is so important. The report breaks down what it would cost to expand the paratransit system through the entire state. According to the report, it would cost up to $6.4 million to annual operations, plus a one-time startup cost for buses, staff, and equipment, totaling $4.2 million. Do you think implementing this <clears throat> is feasible to do? I think so. Absolutely. And it's, it may not be the case where it's implemented exactly as specified. We could do it in phases. Senator Louis De Palma pushed for the report. Ripta cited some challenges, including statewide staffing and vehicle shortages, but Bo says doing it would make a world of a difference. It would allow people to not only have that independence, but to go out and work for the first time or to get that job that pays just a bit more in salary. De Palma, who is named Senate Finance Chair on Tuesday, says he'll consider legislation to get it done. Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.